All right, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So in this audio slash video, right, I wanted to talk about why guys, you know, get all upset when a girl rejects them. You know, why guys have a hard time making things happen in the dating game. You know, why, you know, it seems hard for certain dudes to make things go down, right? And what it is, is that uh, the, 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 the mistake a lot of guys make is that they basically start to identify with being a Mac or a player or a ladies man or a pickup artist, right? They see these labels and they attach their identity to these labels. So you say to yourself, Oh yeah, I'm a Mac. I get all the chicks. I do this. I do that. Or I'm a I'm a pickup artist. I you know I do these things or whatever, whatever, right? So once you once you identify with being those things, once you say this is who I am, then what you are going to try to do is to live up to what that is. And if you do live up to it, then you'll feel good about yourself. If you don't live up to it, you're gonna feel bad about yourself, right? But the thing is this, you have to understand that you being a ladies man, Mac, pickup artist, whatever it is, it's not really who you are. It's what you do, right? So you got to understand the difference between who you are and what you do. So if you're saying I'm a Mac or I'm a player, That's not really who you are. You're just doing Mac and player shit. That's what you do, right? You hollering at chicks, you talking to girls, you know, you getting this and that happening. That's things that you're doing, but that's not who you are, right? But the, 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 the confusion comes in when people identify with these things, when you guys identify with this stuff and say, a Mac is who I am. A player is who is who I am. A pickup artist is who I am, whatever it is, right? When you identify with that, you try to live up to it. And then when you don't live up to it, you're upset. When a chick rejects you, if you get rejection after rejection after rejection, you're going to feel bad. Why? Because you're going to say, I shouldn't be getting rejected this much. I'm a ladies man. What the fuck? I'm a pickup artist. I'm a Mac. So I'm supposed to be getting all these girls. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look at it as this is who you are, then you attach yourself to it, you attach your identity to that, then you are going to set yourself up for disappointment, right? And I talk about this in my book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, where I was basically saying, you know, saying that you're a player, whatever it is, as that's who you are, right? It doesn't make sense because all you're doing really is you're doing the function of what a player or a Mac or pickup artist would do, right? Now, let's say, for example, you decided one day, you were like, hey, I'm just gonna not holler at chicks anymore. I'm gonna do something else. I'm just gonna chill and focus on this and on that, right? So then, would you be a player or a Mac or a ladies man then? No, you'd be doing something else. You would would be making something else happen, right? So, The thing is, is that what you do is going to change, but that's not really who you are. See, in everyday life, people do this shit too, where they'll say something like, oh, I'm a doctor or I'm a lawyer or I'm a bus driver or, you know, they, they, they look at these things that they do and they attach it to their identity. So what happens is if something happens to where one day they can't be that doctor or lawyer or bus driver, whatever it is, they'll lose their fucking minds because they identified so much with that shit. It's like if someone said, I'm a singer, right? They're like, they're like, I'm a singer. I'm a singer. That's what they identify with being a singer. Now, what if they lost their voice? Are they a singer anymore? Right. You see what I'm saying? So and and it's it's confusing because the way that we talk is, you know, as human beings, we'll say, oh, I am this and I am that. 
but that's not really who you are. That's what you attach your identity to. So when we talk about the game, when we talk about the dating game and everything, the reason why a lot of you guys get mad or get upset when chicks reject you is because you have identified with being a Mac player, pimp, pickup artist, whatever you want to call it. Instead of just seeing it as a function of what you do in the game to get a chick, you have identified with being that person and seeing that as who you are. So whenever a chick rejects you, it's like an attack on your identity. It's an attack on you. You understand? And this is why you get upset. This is why you get discouraged because you are identifying with it. You have to disidentify. You have to disassociate yourself with, you know, from that stuff. So I'm not saying you can't go out there and talk to chicks and holler at chicks and do all that other stuff like you've been doing. That's all good. This is what I teach you to how, you know, how to do. But what you have to get out of your head is identifying with being that thing as this is who you are, right? You have to understand this is what you do, right? Because I can, I can be a singer and then quit singing, then go on to, you know, doing some chef stuff, then go on to doing, you know, being a bus driver or whatever, doing, you know, driving a bus or doing some shit like being a garbage man or something. You understand? And the thing is, it's not really who I am, because how am I this if I'm able to jump to that, that, that and that? You understand? So it's not really who you are. It's just what you do. Right. And when we talk about game, this is why, you know, I've even talked about this in my um, audio program, the ultimate five step guide to getting over um, your fear of rejection. And I was talking about. When a chick rejects you, and I talked about this also in how to have sex to him in a day, I think when a chick rejects you, she's not really rejecting you. Like you go up to a girl, you holler at her, you're talking to her and she rejects you, right? She's not rejecting you. Why? Because she doesn't know who you are. You just stepped up to her. You've been talking to her for maybe two or three minutes, five minutes, whatever. And then she's like, no, I don't know, whatever, right? She's not rejecting you. She's rejecting your game because she doesn't know you. Do you understand? So, but the thing is, you're going to take it personally because you've identified with being a pickup artist, a Mac, a player, whatever it is. And now your feelings are hurt. Right. Because she has uh, threatened your identity. Because she's supposed to be all over you. She's supposed to be sweating you. She's supposed to be, you know, falling into your arms. Why? Because you're a ladies man. That's 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 who you are. Right. Why you why, you understand? So this is this is why you get caught up in the nonsense. You have to be able to do what you're doing because this is basically what you're doing. You're just doing what you do as you know that Mac or player, but but you don't need to identify with the Mac or player. Meaning you don't have to make it your identity. Make it as this is who you are, because it's not. You're just doing the function of what a player or a Mac or a pimp or, you know, a pickup artist or whatever you want to call it does. You understand? So I just, you know, I just wanted to hit you guys with that. Just something to think about when you're out here in the game, because, you know, once you understand this concept, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. It's going to make it way easier for you. You know, when you understand this, it's almost like, you can't really be touched as far as on some emotional type of shit. You understand? Because now you approach a girl and let's say if she rejects you or something, you know, it doesn't go the way you want it to go. You're like, whatever. Cool. I'm just doing what I do. You understand? This is not who I am. I don't have to uphold this uh, identity. Right? Right? Because a lot of times when you identify with certain things, you have to live up to it or else you're going to feel like there's something wrong with you. 
If somebody says, oh, you're a genius. Now what you're going to have to live up to being that genius because you want that feeling of being a genius. And if you do not do genius type shit, you're going to feel like something's wrong with you. Right. If you're like, oh, I'm the the biggest player ever. I'm the biggest Mac ever. I am the the best ladies man ever. You're going to have to live up to that. And then you're going to have to do all of this shit to confirm to yourself that you are the biggest ladies man. And then when shit doesn't go that way, when it doesn't, uh, you know, satisfy your 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 need for validation of who you think you are. You're going to be destroyed, you're going to be upset, you're going to be depressed. Right. So you get what you get out of the game. You do what you do to make things happen. But if you are identifying yourself with being this thing or whatever, that thing or this type of person, you're doing yourself a disservice. You have to disassociate yourself from that. You have to make sure that you are not attaching your identity to these things. And this goes for all across the board. It's not even just with picking up chicks, but I'm just telling you as far as, you know, we talk about picking up women. I'm telling you that this is going to make it easier for you to make it happen because now you don't you're not trying to prove something to yourself. You're not trying to um, attach your identity to this thing. And you understand that this is what you do, because I have a chapter in my book called being the man. And I talk about you being the type of guy who believes he can get any woman he wants. Right. And by you thinking that and and doing that, that's something that you're doing. It's not who you are. Do you understand? It's not, you're not identifying yourself as, Oh, I'm the greatest guy that'll, that'll ever get any woman. You understand? Right. It's just something that you understand that you're doing. There's a difference between who you are and what you do. All right. So that's all I want to say for today, guys. Make sure you uh, click the link below if you have any questions for me Um, and I will holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. All right. Now, before you click off this video, I need you to do three quick things. First, I need you to click the link below to send me your questions. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video Two, click the link under that to get my free ebook. The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men gives you 10 tips on how to attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.